Hello universe, it is Spaceboot1 with you once again. This is another Minecraft video. I'm narrating just the first little minute of this footage here because it, um, I, uh, I got a little carried away with this video and I went a little long, so I'm splitting it up into pieces. And so this is part uh, part three of the four-part um, The Rules of Building series um, in which I set a few rules for myself and then proceed to try and follow them, but most sort of break them. Um, I hope you've been enjoying. This is, uh, I hope you enjoyed part one and part two. Uh, this will be part three, and then there's f a fourth part. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There are four parts. Uh, you've probably already seen most of this footage, the first minute or two of footage, because it was in the last video, but I'm just sort of overlapping it just in case um, there's something you, you missed or you want to watch again. Um, feel free to skip around the video if you want to do that, or just watch it straight through because of my wonderful commentating voice. Uh, thanks, for, thanks so much. Enjoy this video. Okay, so I started doing the, the roof on here, and I don't really like, I don't think I want to do it a whole peaked roof, because I like the more flat look that we have near the bottom here, and I don't think I want to take it all the way up and be peaked. But maybe like three of those levels, so if I just go up, go back up there, and take out the last few after the first three, I think I'll be good. So starting there, I hopefully I can reach the top levels here. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Crunch. And how high are we? Yeah, like that. So then I want to flatten it off. And I still want to do um, thatch on the roof. So I'll do... Uh, let's grab some more thatch. Where did One thing I often forget with the roof is to do um, to do proper stairway up. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to use a fair amount of thatch here because I want to... Um, yeah, because I want to... So basically, yeah, it's, it looks like this and like this, and then, um, oops, yeah, like a row here, and then fall down here, and then a row of thatch that sort of hangs off like this. Um, yeah, that's right, except we'll just get rid of that, yeah, um, and we'll get rid of that corner there, yeah, that's what we want, yes, 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 now, um, as for the inner in here, oops, actually, that might be sort of what I want, um, I think I'll put, like, fences, zip, zip, um, one, two, three, four, Seven, eight, and there's nine. Oh, it's a nice, um, what if it went like, something like, uh, we got another block here, there, okay, um, yeah, that's basically what I want, um, I know it, it looks a little awkward, I think, I think that it could use a bit of color right in here, because the, um, stop, stop, good horses. Um, yeah, it could use a little bit of color right in here. Might even use my, a row of my shingle blocks, um, to break that up, because you can't see the transition be between the stairs and the flat wall. Okay, and so I've done a little bit more of the thatch on there, and, um, Oh look, there's a little window you can look into. I don't know, this might actually turn into a door, like a back door. Um, and it's, it'll be like a cellar, a storage maybe. I don't know what can go in there. Maybe some wheat or 
who knows, and almost anything can go in there. But um, I just wanted to take uh, a step back. That looks a little odd, out of place, but it's sort of... I did intend for that to work that way. Um, no, yeah, I, I think I'll leave it like that. I think I'll leave that one. Um, yeah, we'll just go around here. So, so yeah, that's what that looks like. And then I needed to... Um, I needed to break this up a little bit because um, I was talking about doing an overhang e earlier and then I sort of forgot about my overhang. Um, so I gotta think what sort of material I want to build an overhang out of. I don't... nothing actually... Um, nothing comes to mind at the moment, although these stone slabs maybe... let's try it. Let's try the stone slabs for an overhang. Um, so I'm going to have to get rid of some of these, I think. Probably about that much. Um, now, would it be higher or lower? I'm, not very <laughs> I'm actually not very experienced with using stone slabs um, because I, I was sort of had a thing ag against them a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that that's basically... I can always change it later. I mean, that's the thing. I'm, I'm just trying it out, just trying to see what it looks like. Um, I'll need something to support it, and honestly, fences might not do the trick. Um, it'd be interesting if I could do, like, a wooden, like, a, a fairly thick pillar. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this might be too thick. Let's throw a torch in here. Actually, yeah, we're starting to starting to build up in here, so some lighting might be a good I good idea. Yeah, I still don't know. I guess I should take out like a block here and and sort of decide what to do in, in here. Um, but it's fine for now. Okay, back to working on this overhang. Here, I'll light up the lawn too. If this lawn, or is it a lawn? Yeah, if this front um, courtyard, I guess, or might be a courtyard, if it's lit up uh, well, then I don't have to actually worry too much about monster spawning because I have a nice fence around me, so yeah, so good. Um, I guess one option for a pillar is just a pile of these. <laughs> that's that's always fun. Um, and then da 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 da. da. Oh, except yeah, never mind. <laughs> Built a nice pathway for him to get directly in. Um, that actually, yeah, oh, hello, super fast, let's eat some of this, pork chops, okay, is that where that one, no, it should be one over, I don't know if these <laughs> I don't know if these work as like bases for a pillar. I guess. I mean let's do one more of this. Oops. Nope, 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 none of that. And you stop that. Hey, give me that back. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's sip, sip. Okay, that's fine. Yes. And I guess we'll have to one more of these. There. There. Something like that. And this pillar doesn't have to be sunk into the ground because all it's holding up is this roof thing. Um, 
<laughs> Does that even go together? I'm, I'm not really... <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I think maybe I have to get rid of uh, those fences. Although I, I kind of like them. I guess that's the name of the game, though, is trade-offs. Uh, we still have lots of stone slabs. Good. So if I put some more there, I think that looks better. Yes, I think it does. Um, this overhang makes this part of the building look a little bit more presentable, I guess. Even though this is not necessarily the most functional part of the building, um, it makes it look, yeah, makes it look okay. I think we have, yes, we have zombies climbing up all over the roof. Yeah, they're using my own pathway. Got him. I really should be using my bow more often, but whatever. I can't get that bone. Oh, who's after me? Oh, creeper. You know, if creepers were smart, they'd work together with the zombies. Hey, where are you going? Come here. Jeez. Okay, I think we're safe for a bit. Okay, so we've added the this overhang to the other side, and I think I'm going to stick with that style, so we have it repeated on both sides. Um, and then I added these fence posts in here. This was not supposed to be so crowded, but um, I'll have to worry about that later and maybe fix it somehow. Um, but this was supposed to be a place where you could tie a, a couple of horses out front. Um, there's also a, a little thing that you can tie horses to here. And I figure these um, cauldrons sort of resemble um, like troughs that horses can drink out of, so I'll, I'll get some buckets and fill them up with uh, a bit of water too. Um, the other thing that occurred to me is that um, these, uh, these pathways should probably be... Um, I'm going to go with gravel for these uh, because they're like... Well, not pathways, entranceways. Like the entranceway to each of to each area should be gravel. Um, I think that's probably sufficient for this one because it's supposed to be a, a pasture or a field or whatever. Um, still not sure what to do with that. This part here, I think I'm going to make... Um, I don't. I don't know how much of this I'll make gravel. Well, let's tr let's just have a look. With, I mean, at a bare minimum, I suppose it's this. At a bare minimum, uh, it's that much gravel. Um, but still, that doesn't quite feel like enough gravel. So, um, here. And one of the things I'm actually trying to avoid is I don't want to do um, the whole fake. Um, like junk crummy road or the fake aged road. I don't mind things looking crummy as in not finished. Um, yeah, okay, I like, I like how that looks. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just bring this like right out. Um, I think I may need a bit more gravel though, because I don't have I don't have a very large stockpile of it. Um, yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, down to 20, 20 gravel. And something like how do I, so I am gonna make this symmetrical. Um, yeah, we have, what, five more pieces? Five more pieces of gravel left. Um, yeah, here, uh, well, let's do four, four pieces. 
Oh, yeah, I like that. Now, I suppose I can put a torch in there and there. This is these are not final placements for torches, but um that looks like well, it looks okay. Yeah. I think I need to go pick up some more gravel. And so um this next uh, I guess operation that I want to do is um, this is dirt going into the ceiling because I'm going to make the ceiling out of not entirely out of pumpkins but I'm going to use um, a lot of pumpkins in and it's not just the ceiling it's the combination roof ceiling because it's only going to be one layer thick um, after I remove this other layer of dirt um, so, in order to place pumpkins, um, you have to have a block underneath them. And I haven't decided, like, uh, where exactly I want to, like, what sort of pattern. I think I want to do a pattern, but I haven't decided if it's going to be random or if it's going to be, like, a specific, like, make a design. Um, I think, I feel like it's going to be random. Um... And it's going to be like heavily pumpkins, not entirely, but I need more dirt. It's going to be not entirely pumpkins, but it's going to be uh, a lot of pumpkins. Let's go grab more dirt. What do you think? Two more stacks? Um, I've got pumpkins growing over there, just ready to go. Um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's going to be hev heavy on the pumpkins. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know uh, where they're going to go. And is it going to be like? I think it's going to be more than fifty percent, maybe fifty, maybe half pumpkins, basically. Although I yeah, definitely not a checkerboard pattern. Um, although that is an option, but I'd, I well. I don't think checkerboard pumpkins. Um, I think I'll do something that looks a little more random. I might do like a like a L-shaped pattern, like see something interlocking. I think that'd be kind of fun. And I have a bit more dirt. Okay. Oop! Careful. <laughs> so it helped putting the dirt down because now I know basically how much blocks I had to use so it was it felt like oops felt like two stacks or so um so yeah I'll go harvest the pumpkins um you want to come with me while we, while I go harvest pumpkins sure why not uh we have an axe okay yeah so we're ready to go um let's sneak across here do you remember I modded my game to um uh so that if you walk on crops they they um they break. That used to be like used to be vanilla. Used to have that feature, or which yeah, a lot of people didn't like. So, so they took it out for you know I I don't blame them. Um, they have you know good reasons. Uh, but for my particular gameplay style, I actually kind of prefer if you have to sneak across the crops. And of course, what happens is every night the mobs spawn and they trample a few more. Um, interestingly enough, the the carrots, um, because I made a few uh, minor changes to them, uh, they don't have that same property, so you can actually walk, as long as the carrots are fully grown, you can actually walk on top of them and not harm them. I might actually implement that for fully grown wheat, too, um, because, I don't know, because the fully grown wheat should be, I don't know, somehow stronger. Actually, would it be weaker? Probably would be weaker, wouldn't it, because it's... Yeah, it would be, because the 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 fully the ready to go harvested wheat is um is like uh it, you know falling off the vine kind of deal. Speaking of vines, I wish they had like uh, grapes. That's one thing that'd be really cool in Minecraft would be if they did uh, like a grape grape um, plant. I bet there's a mod out there for grapes, but 
it probably doesn't do it the way I would, so that's isn't that always the way with mods? Okay, so that's a stack of pumpkins. Um, is that enough? Well, I guess it's going to have to be enough. I didn't realize. I must have measured that out exactly to be 64, because it's a stack plus one, and one grew while I was harvesting them, so I must have forgotten and why I have, having done that. Okay. Um, okay, so what we need now is coal. Oh, there's no coal here. Okay, I have to go over there. Zip. Okay, so only 64 of these. So I guess I have to be somewhat... Yeah, I'm just going to do them randomly. I'm not going to do a pattern. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, make sure that the whole area is basically covered. I think, yeah, that's good. And then from here, just add pumpkins wherever. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I, I'm I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm having fun just dropping pumpkins wherever. Um, oops, not that, not like that though. I don't think I want them three dimensional. No, I want to make this roof basically flat. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just use yeah, use all of them. Use all of them. I I will have to harvest some more. Um, because I want to light up um, the yard and stuff, and possibly some of the interior with um, with pumpkins too. Uh, there, okay, and then that's plenty of pumpkins, I think. Like, yeah, that's more than enough. Oops. And let's do this. Fill it in, fill it all in. Pumpkins, pumpkins, and wood. Yeah, I'm I'm much happier with um, <laughs> with this than I was uh, with because um, I was I was gonna just do the wood, the ceiling, or roof or whatever this is. I guess it's both. Um, just plain old, just straight up wood. And I was like, you know asking myself, well, how could I make it more interesting? And, um, yeah, I think this is it. I think this does it. Yeah, yeah, and voila. Okay, so we now we have a roof on. Oh, and it is night, so I should make a run for my bed. There's a dark area in between here where there's lots of spawns, but nobody right now, so... We're all good. Okay, so now I'm inside and I gotta get rid of all of that. So, here it goes. Can I reach it? Yep, there we go. Okay, yeah, this is going pretty good. I have a good shovel, so it's all good. Okay, now we gotta move. I may actually, here, let's light up some more in here. I'm not sure. I may want, like, a loft, as I, I often do lofts in my barns, um, in which case it seems a little bit silly what I've just done because I could just wait and until I have my second floor put in. But I guess this is this is not wasting that much time. Yep. There. Can I reach those? E no, no. That one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> hmm. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it all. Um, yeah, I 
can't reach from here either. I have to go get these middle ones. Yeah, there, gone, gone, good. Last one right over there. And let's go in the middle. There, can I reach it? Yeah, I should be able to. And voila. Crunch, ouch. Okay, so yeah, the interior needs work. Um, you see, I've my half hearted attempt at a pillar there. I think we're going to do a second. Oops, bumping things around. I think we're going to do a second floor in here. Um, I may continue with these, um, oh, I have some more stone slabs. Maybe I'll make the second floor out of stone slabs, although it's not going to be single stone slabs. It's going to be double stone slabs. But I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Jump out here. Let's have another look at this exterior. Um, I was thinking what to do with with these, and maybe what's behind here. Maybe what I can do is let's have a look at that. Oh, back, back, back. Um, now if I make that, well it is an improvement I think, I think it's an improvement. Um, so yeah, I'll just continue and do that. Okay, I am sort of going to do this um, loft out of stone slabs in that, what I'm, oops, always doing that. What I'm going to do is um, just do an, an outline out of these. Um, so that's... Uh, that, and then the the inner part of this is just uh, plain old wood. Um, so let's do this. Okay, yeah, we can get up up onto here. Um, oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't reach. Dope. If I break that, I can reach. But now. Yeah. Um, there. Okay, yeah. There. That, and that, and then basically a row. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take it right across, like right across the building to, to the other side. So it's one row of 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 these. Now do it. Oops. Well, I can do it this way. Yeah. Zip, 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 zip. Um. Yeah, like so. Um. And I want it to show. So. I want it to show from underneath. Um, also, maybe from on top too, but mainly from underneath. Uh, yeah. Now, do I have enough stone slabs? That's the thing. Like, when you want to, when you are working with a building, and um, maybe this is obvious, but I'll I'll just say it out loud because it's something I sort of learned. Um, in this process, and if you want to build with an expensive block, like, well, this isn't this isn't a particularly expensive block, but um, I think you know what I mean. Like, when you want to build um, with a block that maybe you just don't happen to have a lot of at the moment, or you're you're feeling lazy, you don't want to go go smelt a whole bunch of cobblestone. Um, 
Oh, I'm out of uh, out of wood. Let's see. How do I? No, I just have to go get wood. Um, <laughs> to finish the thought, as always. Um, if you want to build out of an expensive block, basically, um, but you don't have a lot of it, but you want to build something big and impressive out of it, do the outline. Like use your your expensive block, your your valuable block. Um, use that as your your outline, and you know the main the majority of your build can be just something cheap like wood or whatever. Um, wood or dirt or, or cobblestone or whatever, but if you have fancy outlines, then your whole building kind of looks fancy. I should put some more torches in here because, yes, we need them. Um, can I place... Yeah, I can place these from... Well, not from here. Dope. Let's do it like so. Like... jump to get to there. Yeah, I better. Uh, I gotta find a way up there. I'll just fill her up. There. Good. And for this floor. And yes, there is a gap here. I'm thinking of just leaving it, or maybe... What if we just put a fence on here? Yeah, I like that idea. I haven't... I haven't worked out where the, um, the access point for this upper loft is going to be either. And maybe... Maybe it can be on the other side of this fence. Like, maybe I could cut through this one here. And, like, do a ladder somewhere. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Let's get rid of these mistakes. Okay. So there. Nice thing about this floor is we are nicely light up, lit up by our fancy ceiling. Um, where is this? Yeah. Okay. Nicely lit up by the fancy ceiling. And, yeah, I'll put in another railing here, like that. I probably, yeah, I probably don't need to put anything up here. Um, I mean, if I ever wanted to use it, it'd be f a functional space, but mm, I'm not sure what I need it for. But, yeah, it's good to have. Maybe storage. I mean, there's, you can always use more storage space. Um, yeah, now where to put a ladder? What if the ladder went, um, because I sort of have a bit of a window there. What if the ladder went there? I need, like, uh, something like that on either side to stop me from falling. Um, we can use a crafting bench up here either way. Crafting table. Gosh, it does feel empty, though. I hate to leave it. Well, we're not on the interior design phase yet, so maybe maybe we're okay. Um, 12 letters? Yeah, I think we're definitely not more than 12. Hello, universe. It is future Space Boot One in the editing room, editing all these vi wonderful videos together. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this uh, series. Um, you've been watching part three. Uh, coming up next will be part four. It's coming soon to your inbox as soon as it uploads to YouTube. Uh, yeah, your subscription box. 
So thank you for watching. One more part to go in this series, and of course, infinity more parts to go in the whole Space Boot 1 saga, or basically until I get... Well, let's not talk about the end of things. Let's just think about how many more um, wonderful episodes we are going to have in the Space Boot 1 series. So leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, what else? Uh, do a little dance for me. Um, <laughs> anything you like. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you again when I s see when I see you. I stole that from someone else. Anyways, bye for now.